Jeff, good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for making the time. I want to get straight into it. I've just said that you were the first ever um, TSA director of tennis appointed in December 2019. And 20, 2019 is very recent. Um, why is it that the role did not exist prior to your time? Um, yeah, hi, Nicole, and hi to listeners. Yeah, I think it's one of those things, uh, you know, we are a very small federation, and we try to, to kind of grow bigger and bigger. And one of the, the things when Richard uh, Glover came in as the new CEO, he wanted to, to have a director of tennis to kind of oversee things, uh, set a pathway for tennis in South Africa. And, uh, yeah, I was lucky enough to be the first director of tennis in South Africa. And, uh, yeah, it's been great two years for me. I learned a lot, and, um, yeah, I'm happy I did it. So in those two years, what did you identify as some of the pros and cons, cons that come with um, tennis administration in South Africa? Look, it, it is one of those things. Uh, it was also new for me, but I kind of knew what tennis needed. Uh, we created a, a, a pathway. Uh, I did a lot of, um, you know, structures and stuff. And uh, I mean, there's still a lot. I, I feel very sad to have left because I feel like there was there's still so much to be uh, to be uh, done. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, that's probably the downside for me. But uh, I think tennis has grown a lot in the last few years, and I'm sure it will continue to grow. But uh, for me, the most important is family. I needed some more family time. I am a traveling coach 25 to 30 weeks of the year. And when I come home, I just didn't have that time for my family. And I just felt, you know, it, I needed to just uh, give them the time. So when you say that you're sure it will continue to grow, which most definitely will happen, looking at where um, tennis administration is currently, what is your ideal picture for where it should be? So in your absence, when the next individual comes in, um, ideally, what does tennis look like for you? You know, uh, uh, Nicole, we've, we've, uh, if I look back uh, even before Richard or since Richard and now me as well, the last few years, uh, we have a lot of international tournaments. We have close to 20 international tournaments next year. That's the first. Uh, we are trying to get a, a bigger event, a 250 in the next few years. We're uh, getting some challenges. Um, and I just think it's, it's uh, you know, it's a, it's a non-contact sport. It's grown since COVID. We're one of the lucky sports that actually is a non-contact sport and has grown the last few years. And uh, the percentages, uh, tennis is healthy at the moment. And I think it's uh, uh, whoever steps in my sh uh, shoes and I will definitely do a good job. And I'm here to help. I'm, you know, I'm proudly South African and I'm, I'll continue to help wherever I can. So, Jeff, it's been a couple of days since you've stepped down. I'm sure all and sundry have asked you why exactly you've stepped down. In one of the earlier questions that you answered, you actually said you wanted to spend some time with your family. Other than spending some time with your family, what exactly is it that you're going to be focusing on now that you've stepped down? Look, I'm still going to be on the tour for, for about 25 to 30 weeks. I'm starting with a new team next year, and uh, I felt like... Uh, the last two years, I've given everything for tennis in South Africa as much as I can. Uh, I am a person that likes to perfect things, and uh, it's taken so much out of my time. And then I felt like I kind of neglected sometimes my guys on the tour as well, and more so my family at home. So I just had to reflect a little bit again on, 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 on myself, and especially when I'm at home. You know, when you have a nine-year-old daughter and she wants your attention, and you can't give it to her because you have constantly meetings, there's constantly stuff. I just felt like, you know, I needed to be more of a father also when I'm home. Jeff, we're running out of time, but very quickly before um, we go, firstly, congratulations on being the first ever uh, director of tennis. Congratulations on your two years. Before you go, I'm quite interested to know, what are some of your most memorable moments that you had? No, I think just to be part of the whole day uh, opened me with, you know, some open arms and uh, I've joined. And the most important thing for me is that we've actually had a nice uh, uh, structure, incentive document for our, for our kids, our juniors, and hopefully that will continue to grow. Jeff, thank you so much for your time. We're going to have to leave it there for now. That was former director of tennis, S.A. Jeff Kutsia, who's very recently just stepped down.